Hey guys, it's me, Kit the Explorer, K-I-T, that's me. And we're here at the Bean Life Science Museum at BYU in Provo, Utah. And check out this giant bear. Miles, what do you think of that bear? Roar, I eat. Roar, he does roar just like that. That's the biggest bear I've ever seen. This bear is a Kodiak bear. And Kodiak bears are special bears that live on an island called Kodiak Island, and they grow so big. They're some of the biggest. <gasps> Whoa! Did you hear that bear roar at us? That was spooky. Kodiak bears are some of the biggest bears in the world, but bears aren't the only thing we're going to explore. We're going to explore all kinds of animals. Let's go check out some other animals. Come on, let's go explore. Come on, Miles. Miles, I'm really excited you could join me today. Are you excited to see some animals? Mm -hmm. What kind of animals are those? Yeah. Giraffes. Look at how tall these giraffes are. They have such long necks. Giraffes use their long necks to get at food that's high up in the trees. Look at that guy just chomping away. He's having a delicious dinner. Mm-hmm. Come over here. Do you know what kind of animal this is? Mm -hmm. What kind of animal is that? Peacock. What? How did you know that? It has big feathers. It does have big feathers. Miles is exactly right. Miles is helping me explore all the animals today. And that animal is a peacock. Peacocks have bright green feathers that they can spread and display. And they're really, really pretty. Look at that. Do you see how beautiful his blue neck is? That's a really pretty bird. I see a big snake. Come follow me, let's check it out, come on. Whoa, <laughs> look at this snake. It's going all the way up the stairs. That's really cool. And look at these bears. There's some more bears over here, Miles. These are black bears. Yeah, this is a mama bear, and she's got two baby cub bears, and they're climbing up the tree, and they don't seem to be listening to their mom. Bear cubs are just like you, just like a little kid. They love to play and have fun together and enjoy rolling around outside. Look at these two cuties. They're climbing all the way up the tree. This mama bear is saying, I don't get paid enough to be a mama bear. But really, baby cubs can climb up trees for protection or to get honey out of the tree or dig for grubs. Grubs are bugs that bears eat. And bears eat everything from fish to bugs to honey to berries, even animals. Bears are omnivores and that means they eat everything. They eat plants, they eat meat, just like you and just like me. Let's go check out some more animals. Let's go upstairs, let's follow the snake. Where does the snake lead to? Let's go see. Oh man, I see some really awesome animals up here. We're gonna see some cool stuff. Come here, let's explore some apex predators. They're the top predators in the food chain in the areas that they live. Let's check them out. Come on, this is a wolf. And it's kind of like a big dog, isn't it? Oh, a little, they probably bark, 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 just like dogs. And they probably growl at each other just like dogs. And I see some growling wolves right now. Come here. These wolves are growling and snarling just like an angry dog. And it's probably because they're hunting these elk. Elk and wolves have a really interesting relationship because the wolves need the elk to live. They eat the elk for food. And the elk, they need their population to be kept under control by the wolves or else the elk would grow so fast that they eat all the plants and they wouldn't be able to live anymore. 
you can tell that a wolf is a predator because of how sharp his teeth are. Those teeth are made for eating meat. And other animals like elk don't have sharp teeth because they just eat grass. Let's go check out some more animals. I see some more really cool animals. The wolves that we just saw, they're a lot like dogs. And if you have dogs at home, they're probably related to wolves. But now we're gonna look at some animals that are related to your kitties. If you have kitties at home, they're probably related to these. Lions. Lions are crazy. They're the biggest cats in the world. And they also have sharp teeth. Do you see that lion way back there? He's smiling like this and showing off his sharp teeth. Those sharp teeth are made for eating meat. Cats, just like wolves, are carnivores and they need their sharp teeth and they also have sharp claws on their hands and they use those sharp teeth and sharp claws to hunt other animals. Let's look at some of the animals they hunt. They hunt zebras, which are like wild horses and they live in Africa. The male lions, or the boy lions, are the lions with the big fluffy manes. And the lionesses, or the female lions, the girl lions, are the lions that don't really have a fluffy mane. And the female lions are the ones that do all the hunting. And the male lions, they just kind of sit around all day. Ask your mom if that sounds familiar. Now we're moving away from the part of the world that lions live and into the Rocky Mountains, which is where I live. It's also where Miles lives. Do you live in the Rockies? Oh, uh -huh. Yeah, and if you live in Colorado or Wyoming or parts of Idaho or Utah, you probably live close to the Rocky Mountain Range and that's where animals like these live. This is a grizzly bear. They're ferocious bears. This animal right here is a wolverine. The wolverine is not as big as a grizzly bear, but it's just as ferocious. That means they love to fight and bite and chase animals. Yikes! Grizzly bears are kind of scary. They're just like lions, and they hunt other animals for meat. Like this big moose who's trying to get away from a bear. And this bear is using his sharp claws and sharp teeth to try to catch the moose. And that's what happens in nature. Moose and deer and elk eat plants, and lions and tigers and bears, oh, oh my, they eat meat. And that's why we say, oh my, lions and tigers and bears, oh my, they're scary because they eat meat. <laughs> Grizzly bears are really interesting apex predators because even though they eat other animals, they eat pretty much everything. They eat grass, berries, fish, seeds, fungus, insects, and guess what? Grizzly bears do something called hibernate. And hibernation is where during the winter, the bear gets so sleepy that he goes to sleep for the whole winter. And then he wakes up in the spring. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. In order to hibernate all winter, bears have to get really, really fat. And they put on the fat so they can live off of it during the winter. So in the fall, when winter is coming, bears are spending a lot of time eating and storing fat for their long winter hibernation. Pretty interesting. Miles, are you hibernating like a bear? Are you so tired? Should we hibernate? Come hibernate like a bear. Oh, it's springtime. Good morning. This apex predator is another cat, and it's a leopard, and it hunts an animal called the impala. And impalas are so fast you can barely see them. <laughs> They're that fast. Let's run around like an impala. Impalas are so fast, but so are leopards. And leopards, even though they're very small for some of the larger cats that are predators, they're very strong. 
Leopards are a cat that look very similar to another animal called a cheetah. And the way that you tell them apart is leopards have spots that are separated and cheetah's spots are solid. Wow, I didn't know that, but now I do and you do too. Should we go check out another apex predator? Oh, okay. Come on, let's go check him out. because wolves hunt in packs. And if a wolf came after you, it wouldn't just be one wolf, it would be a whole pack of them. Lots and lots of wolves. Just like we're seeing right here. Right here, there is a pack of wolves going after some musk ox. Can you see how warm the fur coat of the musk ox is? The last apex predator we're going to take a look at is an animal that's in danger of becoming extinct. It's the polar bear. Polar bears are white bears that live in the Arctic. Antarctica is the continent where the polar bear is found. And the polar bear is white so that it can blend in with the snow where it lives. And here's another little teeny tiny predator. This is an Arctic fox. How cute! It almost looks like a little puppy dog, doesn't it, Miles? Yeah, can you say, so cute, so cute. So cute. I'm really glad that you joined me on this adventure while we explored apex predators. And I have one more bonus apex predator that's a really, really crazy, old, ancient animal. Come check it out. This is an American alligator. What kind of food do you think this animal eats? What do you think, Miles? More alligators. You think it eats more alligators? That may be the case. We know that this alligator eats other animals because of its sharp, sharp teeth. And look at how scaly its body is. Alligators are so old that they were around even when the dinosaurs lived. And the dinosaurs all died. They all went extinct, but not the alligator. They've been around for millions and millions and millions of years. Whoa. So that's all we have for today. Be sure to subscribe to Kit Explorers for more fun, educational videos. Bye bye, Where's can you wave bye? Bye. Bye, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. You wanna go dig dino bones? I don't know if there's any dino bones here.